I'm sore, I'm tired a lot, um, probably more depressed than I was, but that's all getting better though. Shane has been working with doctors at Harborview Medical Center in Seattle, Washington, learning how to handle the depression following a brain injury after a really bad car crash three years ago. 53% of the indi individuals we studied had at least one depressive episode during the um, year following traumatic brain injury. About half of the individuals who experienced major depression uh, did so in the first three months following their injury. Dr. Charles Bombardier and Dr. Jesse Fan from the University of Washington and co-authors studied 559 hospitalized traumatic brain injury patients at Harborview Medical Center for one entire year. Even among those with no history of major depression prior to their injury, 41% experienced an episode of depression in the year following their injury. People who were depressed after brain injury were nine times more likely to experience significant anxiety problems compared to those who are not depressed. The study appears this week in a theme issue on mental health in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We found that only 44 percent of the people who had been depressed received any kind of treatment. Only about 40 percent received antidepressants and only 20 percent received psychotherapy. Shane says therapy helped him focus on positive things in his life, like his children and someday getting back to work. Very important. It was very good because it gave me ways to think about other stuff than all my problems so it was very helpful. There's a real opportunity to integrate mental health care in a systematic way um, into the standard care of individuals with traumatic brain injury and potentially improve their uh, clinical outcomes. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.